Now to a showdown with a squatter. Frustrated neighbors want an old house torn down, but they say a man living there illegally is standing in their way. The house is on Glennon Street in southwest Detroit. Seven investigator Simon Sh uh, Shaket confronts the squatter only on seven. People living here on Glennon Street call it more than an eyesore. This house being frequented by squatters and even worse, one neighbor says she has no idea when the city will tear it down. We're here because neighbors have been complaining about people squatting in this house. Yup, this guy is a real life squatter who just happened to be leaving for the day when we pulled up to our story, calling himself Billy. He defends his decision to buck the law. We just saw you walk out of here. It's Can you explain? Me. It's just me. It's not people, it's just me. Yeah, I'm the only one. Why are you staying in this house? Uh, because, uh, I mean, I've been staying here for a year. I don't got anywhere else to stay. Billy says he works part time, but has no phone to call anywhere for a better job. And he has no better option of where to sleep. He's also not ashamed of crashing here. Do you feel like you're at all taking advantage of the situation staying there? Oh yeah, I'm taking advantage of it, definitely. Then why not go someplace that's better for you and let them deal with this property? Well, I mean, I'm not the reason they haven't knocked it down. Not if you ask Monica Lefrenier, who's lived next door on Glennon near I-75 since 1956. Monica says the land bank took over this house vacant for 10 years and boarded up for three. She believes Billy is the main reason the house, gutted by scrappers, is still standing. You know, I've put up with it long enough. I think something needs to be done. What did the land bank say? They went inside and he said we were out here to see if we could tear this down but unfortunately there are people in the basement we called the land bank and the mayor's office for answers and also reported billy ourselves they promised to work on finding him temporary housing and to move ahead with plans for this house if it's deemed for demolition we will move with the expediency that's allowed now monica has asked us to hold the city accountable we will stay on top of this story to make sure that detroit's land bank deals with this vacant home from southwest detroit simon shaykett seven action news